All right, well, Panera Bread is joining forces, Caribou Coffee and Einstein Brothers Bagels, to form a new Panera Brands under which the three businesses will operate. And joining us now to discuss is CEO of Panera Brands, Naran Chowdhury, uh, also still the CEO of Panera Bread. Naran, thanks so much uh, for jumping on this morning to talk a, a little bit about the deal. So I, I just want to start with how you guys are seeing the, the recovery in your businesses. We've talked to a lot of fast casual operators over the last year with strong consumer spending, people uh, more out and about. What the trajectory has been like um, for those those three portfolio companies you know, over the last year? Thanks. It's great to be here. Um, well, the trajectory has been very strong. And as you mentioned, I think uh, as a result of the macroeconomic conditions like uh, stimulus uh, payments, vaccinations, and a general desire for consumers to get back to the life as they once knew it, um, coupled with some of the pivots we made as brands through the pandemic, you know, more off-premise, more digitally focused and rapid fire innovation, we are seeing a tremendous recovery across all three brands uh, this year. And in fact, the momentum is building uh, week on week. So we're feeling very good about uh, where we are and uh, how things look going forward. Take us through uh, why you're bringing all these brands together under run one roof. Are they going to share rewards programs? Are they pulling from the same food suppliers? How, how are you thinking about it? Yeah, I think so. It's a, it's a very exciting development. If you think about it, it's, this creates one of the world's largest fast casual uh, restaurant brands with 4,000 stores um, across uh, 10 countries, 115,000 employees. So, you know, much larger in scale. And I, I believe we can be stronger together and we can grow faster. So the real reason to do this is to leverage the competencies that we have, you know, such as our uh, digital ecosystem, our omni-channel network, our supply chain, uh, as you mentioned, our innovation strength, and also the capability of franchisees that we have at Panera Bread and that we can leverage these assets across all three brands to grow much faster. Uh, that really is the intent. It's also a, a pretty uh, easy way to tell Wall Street a story. Uh, are, do you have any timeline on, on when you might become a public company again? Well, you know, as you can imagine, we are always thinking about uh, various options all the time. But at this point in time, we have not really made uh, a specific decision on when exactly that might happen or if it's going to happen. Um, it's Julie here. I have a little bit further questions on bringing the three brands together. Do you expect to have cross-selling? Are you going to have Caribou Coffee in Panera Bread, for example? Um, are you going to sell Einstein bagels in a Panera, for example, or in a Caribou? How is that all going to work? So I think uh, the way to think about this is that we believe uh, that these are three iconic brands with the unique roles in the lives of our customers. So we're going to be very focused and dedicated at ensuring the independence of these brands and make them the best version of themselves, respectively, respectively for our consumers, whilst leveraging the back end to really turbocharge growth across all three brands. But uh, so I don't really see any cross selling, et cetera, happening. We just want to uh, delight our customers who are looking for those specific uh, value propositions across each one of those individual brands. I think the good thing is that these three brands are very complementary. So Panera leads on lunch, mm -hmm. Caribou Coffee leads on coffee, and Einstein Bagels uh, leads on breakfast. So they're very complementary, synergistic, and we plan to grow them faster by leveraging our unique competencies at the back end. Yeah, Naren, I was I was thinking about the the different you know day parts as as you guys will call them that they fit into, and it, it seemed to me as a portfolio of if anything maybe skewed slightly more towards the morning hours with with the coffee and the bagels yeah. together. And I'm I'm curious how you guys have seen that part um, you know of the business. We hear from a lot of you know competitors in the in fast casual space that they're all very interested in breakfast. They want to make more breakfast investments, but certainly with these three already have a, a strong foothold there. How have you seen you know that specific day part as a growth area so i think the pandemic has been you know transformational in the way in which consumers are accessing brands as you can imagine and interestingly lunch has had headwinds even breakfast has not been that strong as it was before the day part that has really exploded has been the dinner evening day part uh, for families at home working from home and the weekend day part interestingly so therefore over the last uh, year or so uh, we have not only protected and strengthened our breakfast and lunch day parts we have gone very aggressively uh, for evening, end of the day, family meal solutions. You know, at Panera Bread, we launched uh, the flatbread pizza uh, and we uh, launched warm bowls as a meal solution for families for the evening day part 
or for the weekend. And we partnered very quickly with third party aggregators so our consumers could access our offerings for that additional day part is the evening day part. So uh, I would think that probably Panera Brands is a unique combination of brands that have relevance across all three day parts, not only breakfast and lunch, as you mentioned, but we are seeing tremendous tailwind and growth uh, in the evening day part as well. When your parent company purchased Caribou in December 2012, uh, it had about 610 stores at the time of the deal. Now, about 713 or so. Why hasn't growth there been faster in terms of store base? And is that chain profitable? That chain is profitable. In fact, all of our three brands, you know, the brands are strong, the model is profitable. And I think coming through the pandemic, we have actually become even stronger, all three brands. Uh, the brands are stronger, the model is stronger. We're looking at asset like models go forward across all three brands to accelerate growth even faster. So these are smaller box uh, stores with fewer seats, more off-premise orientated, more digitally fired up so that we can really serve our customers in the best possible way as they emerge with these fundamental changes in the way in which they're accessing uh, these brands. So yes, all, all three brands are profitable. They're doing extremely well. And I expect that the with this, uh, creation of the platform, uh, the growth of both Caribou and Einstein Bagels will be much faster than it may have been before. You know, I, I believe I went to a Panera last week and it, like many other fast casual chains, had a hiring sign. Um, what have you guys yeah. been doing in terms of wages? Have you been raising wages? Have you been having trouble finding people? Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a real challenge out there. It's very hard to find uh, workers, as you know, impacting not only our cafes, but also our supply chain. Uh, they're also facing the same uh, challenges. So uh, to, just to give you a sense of how large that uh, challenge is, we've had to hire 10 to 12,000 people in the last two months. Now, we've successfully able, been able to do that, but it continues to be an uphill task. And then also you want to hold on to the employees that you're hiring. So yes, we have moved very quickly on relooking at our entire value proposition uh, for our associates, be that wages, so wage, wages range you know, up to $15, uh, depending on where you are in the country, uh, free meals, uh, additional benefits, career progression, clear career paths for our associates. So we're centering our value proposition. And fortunately, I think uh, our brands are very well regarded uh, by employees as being great places to work. So we are able to find them, but it is hard. I'm, I'm actually thinking that maybe this is a short term friction between demand and supply, and hopefully things should settle down uh, over the next few months. You know, just looking at the competitive environment, we've seen really eye-popping sales growth this year. Chipotle, McDonald's, the pizza players. Uh, have you lost any share uh, in your brands? We've actually gained share. I mean, uh, you know, we have this black box index that we track. Um, and I think um, we got quite badly impacted by the pandemic. You know, about uh, 12 months ago, we lost half of our business. But we have not only fully recovered to pre-pandemic levels, we're growing even much faster on top of that and gaining market share uh, over the last several months. Like I said, primarily as a result of the pivots we've made, you know, redefined ourselves. We are relevant not only for breakfast, lunch, but also dinner. Uh, we are more accessible not only for on-premise, but also off-premise. You can access us not only in uh, uh, digital ways, but also, you know, in the cafe, et cetera. So broadening uh, the relevance of the concept, making it more and more accessible, has given us tremendous momentum across all three brands as we're recovering from the pandemic and uh, moving forward. All right, we'll leave it there. I really appreciate the time this morning. Panera Brands CEO Niran Chowdhury, uh, congratulations on the combination. I know we'll be in touch as you guys uh, continue your journey here. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much.